Horsing Miracles, Volume 2, Workbook for Students, Lesson 160. I am at home. Fear is the stranger here. Fear is a stranger to the ways of love. Identify with fear and you will be a stranger to yourself. And thus you are unknown to you. What is yourself remains an alien to the part of you which thinks that it is real, but different from yourself. Who could be sane in such a circumstance? Who but a madman could believe he is what he is not and judge against himself? There is a stranger in our midst who comes from an idea so foreign to the truth. He speaks a different language, looks upon a world truth, does not know and understands what truth regards as senseless. Stranger yet, he does not recognize to whom he comes and yet maintains his home belongs to him, while he is alien now who is at home. And yet how easy it would be to say, this is my home, here I belong and will not leave because a madman says I must. What reason is there for not saying this? What could the reason be, except that you had asked the stranger in to take your place and let you be a stranger to yourself? No one would let himself be disposed so needlessly unless he thought there was another home more suited to his tastes. Who is the stranger? Is it fear or you that is unsuited to the home which God provided for his son? Is fear his own created in his likeness? Is it fear that love completes and is completed by? There is no home can shelter love and fear. They cannot coexist. If you are real, then fear must be illusion. And if fear is real, then you do not exist at all. How simply then the question is resolved. Who fears has but denied himself and said, I am the stranger here. And so I leave my home to one more like me than myself and give him all I thought belonged to me. Now is he exiled of necessity, not knowing who he is, uncertain of all things, but this, that he is not himself and that his home has been denied to him. What does he search for now? What can he find? A stranger to himself can find no home wherever he may look, for he has made return impossible. His way is lost, except a miracle will search him out and show him that he is no stranger now. The miracle will come, for in his home his self remains. It asked no stranger in and took no alien thought to be itself and it will call its own unto itself in recognition of what is its own. Who is the stranger? Is he not the one yourself calls not? You are unable now to recognize the stranger in your midst, for you have given him your rightful place, yet is yourself as certain of its own as God is of his son. He cannot be confused about creation. He is sure of what belongs to him. No stranger can be interposed between his knowledge and his son's reality. He does not know of strangers. He is certain of his son. His certainty suffices. Whom he knows to be his son belongs where he has set his son forever. He has answered you who ask. Who is the stranger? Hear his voice assure you quietly and surely that you are not a stranger to your father, nor is your creator stranger made to you. Whom God has joined remains forever one, at home in him, no stranger to himself. Today, we offer thanks that Christ has come to search the world for what belongs to him. His vision sees no strangers, but beholds his own and joyously unites with them. They see him as a stranger, for they do not recognize themselves. Yet, as they give him welcome, they remember, and he leads them gently home again where they belong. 
Not one does he forget. Not one he fails to give you to remember that your home may be complete and perfect as it was established. He has not forgotten you, but you will not remember him until you look on all as he does. Who denies his brother is denying him and thus refusing to accept the gift of sight by which his self is clearly recognized. His home remembered and salvation come. I am at home. Fear is the stranger here. I am at home. Fear is the stranger here. I have a little exercise for you today and it's quite simple. Get a pen, a piece of paper and jot down the things that you are fearful of. Jot down what makes you scared. For example, do I have adequate financial means for my retirement? Am I scared to go to sleep at night? Do I fear being in crowds? It doesn't matter, whatever it is. Do I fear loss? Do I fear illness? Do I feel abandonment or rejection? Or do I fear my partner is cheating on me? Or do I fear that I am always going to be alone? Whatever it is, whatever comes to mind, no judgment, no right, no wrong, no judgment. Just write a list down of what you fear. And when you write this down, you will see a lot of this fear you could say is worry. I worry about this and I, I worry about that. But the moment we catch ourselves doing that, we realize we have stepped away from the reality and the truth of who we are. Because if we truly knew our worth, divinity and power, we wouldn't worry about these things. We wouldn't be fearful. We would replace them with love and the knowing that we are our Father's Son, that we are the creation of the Creator and Source of all, and that if we just abide in His trust, and you could say, yes, but I need to feed my family, that trust hasn't brought food to my table. Well, perhaps that trust has been based in what you want to call an energy field or a space of fear. I have done this for so long in my life. I made decisions based on fear or not trusted that I realized that the most important thing I need to do is simply this know thyself, know who you are, know who you are and allow the flow and love of the of the universe of consciousness, allow the flow and love of God just wash over you and bring you to a place where you know that fear is the stranger here. Fear is the stranger here. It is a very difficult lesson to incorporate in one's life when you, you truly have worries that you're worried about. But again, it's turning your focus away from what is not in the illusion and bringing it back to the realness of you. Know yourself, know your power. Reach out for help. Listen, you might be directed, go here, go there. Someone might be directed to bring you a bag of groceries. Who knows? But try this on for size. Fear is the stranger here. I am at home. Fear is the stranger here. The I, the me, the love that I am 
the spark of the divinity, the true essence of me, that part of me which is pure consciousness, that I is at home. And I bid thee farewell, fear, but you are the stranger here. So thank you for being here. I know it's not going to be an easy exercise and you're more than welcome to drop comments below. And I am so looking forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue on this journey of realizing ourselves. Until tomorrow, I love you, I honor you, I bless you and I cherish you. And take care.